Hi, I'll be reading ending number three, Ask for Help. A snake in the hallway, uh-oh, I raised my hand. Miss Claire, Miss Claire, I said. Yes, what is it, Andy, said Miss Claire. Mr. Franks used to have a snake, I said. He'll know what to do. I waited for Mrs. Claire to answer. Yes, Mrs. Mr. Franks did have a snake, and he named it Cornflower, said Emma. But the snake was brown, white, and orange, so the name didn't match. The girls sitting around her all giggled. Why do girls always have to laugh at everything? Then I noticed Emma wasn't laughing. She turned and gave me a look. That's when I knew Emma had figured it out. Well, she did see Josh get out of the bus with a bag and a backpack. And her brother was Caleb. Caleb had gotten into more trouble than Josh, than Josh ever did. And Josh was in trouble a lot. So that was saying something. It was corn. It was a corn snake. So that's why he named it. It was a corn snake. So that's why he named it. It that I said. Well, he did have that strange blue flower in the terrarium. But why was it in there? Couldn't it hurt the snake? Said Emma. The girls giggled again. It was just a plastic flower. It didn't hurt anything. I said. Emma shook her head. Why would anyone want a plastic flower? Plastic hurts the environment. It takes a hundred of million of years to break down. When I, thank you, Emma, interrupted Miss Claire. Finally, yes, Andy, you can go talk to Mr. Franks. And uh, said Mrs. Claire. Emma gave me another look, and then I realized she has been stalling the teacher. Was she trying to help Josh or hurt him? I wasn't sure. Thanks, Mrs. Claire, I said, and then I ran to the door. Mr. Franks was already in the hallway, but where was Josh? Had he been sent to the principal's office? I walked over to Mr. Franks. He was wearing his long snake handling gloves as he crouched by the packbacks that had been knocked uh, to, the, to the floor. Excuse me, Mr. Franks, I said. Can it wait? I'm kind of busy now, Andy, said Mr. Franks. There's a snake on the loose. He seemed very disrupted. I can help you with that. Mr. Franks stopped looking at the packback on the floor. You can help. I'm all ears. When Josh and I, I said, and then I stopped. Oh no, I just gonna have given it away. Now Josh was going to be in trouble for sure. Well, if he wasn't already in trouble by now. Go on, said Mr. Franks in a patient voice. Well, we saw the nest. Uh, we saw the nest of baby snakes. There were so many of them, and they were all crawling all over each other. Josh wanted one to bring one to school to show everyone, but I didn't want to put it to put my hand in their nest. No, that's not a good idea," said Mr. Franks, and he lifted both hands. His gloves almost reached his elbow. I always wear these gloves when I handle a snake. Reptiles have salmonia in their Castrolin? Salmonella. Uh, track. It's Gastrointestinal. The salmonella doesn't hurt the snake, but it's harmful to humans. You can make you can make and can make you feel quite sick. Some people even even have to be hospitalized. You can get that sick. From just touching it, I said as I looked at my hands. Did he touch? Did he touch the snakes? Asked Mr. Franks. No, I only lifted the snake with a stick. I said that's how we well, how Josh caught it, using the stick to handle a snake. Using a stick, uh, using a stick, to, a stick to handle a snake is actually a common practice, said Mr. Franks. Well. Uh, we'll borrow one from the janitor's closet. A broom or a mop with a long handle will serve our purpose. I followed Mr. Franks down the fifth grade 
a hallway. Mr. Manny, the school janitor, kept all of the all of his supplies in the closet there. Mr. Franks opened the janitor's closet, and we walked inside. The cleaning cart was gone. There was an old mop leaning against the wall. Look what we have here," said Mr. Franks. "I didn't think it had come this far." And then I saw it. The little blue snake was on in the old mop. It was crawling in the long white strings of the mop. It must have thought the strings were the other snakes. Mr. Frank reached over and grabbed the long wooden handle of the mop. Can you hold the ha- that the handle while I get the snake untangled? Sure, I said, reaching out、uh, my hand to hold the mop steady. Mr. Frank leaned down and took the little blue snake out of the mop strings. That's no home for a pretty little snake like you. He held the snake in his gloved hand like he wasn't afraid of it at all. Let's take you to a safer place, Mr. Frank said to the snake as he walked down the hallway. The little snake tried to crawl off. The glove, but Mr. Franks didn't look worried. He just moved his other hand up so the snake crawled on the that glove instead. Mr. Franks smiled as he,、uh, he as the little snake crawled across his glove. I ran over and opened the door to the science room. A whole class stared, talking when we walked into the room. Can I see it? Asked. Maki, don't bring it over here," said Jamo. "I hate snakes." Mr. Frank walked over to the terrarium,、uh, terrarium on the shelf at the back of the class. It had been Cornflower's home for many years, but now it was just sitting there empty. Andy, can you open the terrarium, please? Asked Mr. Frank. I ran over to the shelf and lifted up the heavy wooden top. Thank you," said Mr. Franks, and he leaned over and put both gloves in the terrarium. The little blue snake climbed onto the thick branch instead. After the snake climbed off his gloves, Mr. Frank pulled down the top and locked it. Mr. Frank looked over at me. What shall we name it? Name it. Did that mean he was going to keep it? I guess it did. I looked at the little blue snake as he crawled around its new home. Cornflower's blue plastic flower was still there, in the corner, sticking out of the gravel. Little blue, I said. Perfect, said Mr. Franks. Just perfect. It was Mr. Franks, and and it was. Mr. Franks had a new snake, and and I was not in trouble. The disaster had turned into a win, and it was not. It was only first period. Andy, please go to the principal's office and tell Mr. Clements we have the snake in the terrarium. Said Mr. Franks, ask her to send Megan here so I can show her the snake won't hurt her. And ask Mr. Clements to send Josh here too. I have to talk to Josh about the proper way to treat a snake. Live animals are not toys. Mr. Frank smiled. And in the last period, you know, you and Josh can both tell the class where, where and how you found the the snake. Yes, Mr. Frank, I said. And then I went to get Josh and Megan. Josh probably had attention, but I didn't. And now. The little blue snake had a good home. It was go. It was going to be a pretty good day after all. The end.